Hi guys, welcome to our channel. So today I'm going to talk about the, the, the toughest topic in uh, all the newbies when they, are, uh, when they come to Form 4. So the topic is called, you all know why, so it's called function. So I know that all of you have met uh, a lot of problem when you're studying uh, function that mostly that uh, concept, cal calculation sure no problem but actually when you are calculating the function uh, doing f of y uh, like when you sub the value of x all of that you, are, you have no problem but you have a problem that you can't understand what is actually function that's most Malaysia students to, uh, met the, this problem so I'm here to solve your problem so the first one is going to be flashback about your form 2 graph of function topic basically both are very related one and then going to start the, the definition the definition of function and then going to give you some special language special language of function and I'm going to explain why this language is going to be like this lah. okay then um, the notation then uh, fx that most of the relations is then they, they assume that it's f times x okay and then there's some record back of the relation there's a types of relation and then going to be the vertical line test okay then how to represent the function of this um, the first subtopic uh, the function sub first sub subtopic representation of function there's three types but actually not only three types but Malaysia three types only and then going to integrate graph of function and in your, when you are from 2 you just learn how to draw the graph but you don't know what is this graph actually meant and so you can to integrate the graph The individual just a little bit uh, about the domain and range, just about that. And then the absolute value function, the V shape graph, uh, basically very easy one like uh, this. Uh, yeah. And then I, give, I will give you some example of function in daily life that you can apply. Okay, so this is our. Uh, what, is, what, what are we going to learn? Uh, okay, so first. First of all, actually, now, what is actually function? So actually, by definition, function, you can split it into two, but actually in the combined. Uh, so the, I mean, there's like uh, two sub-definition. Okay? So the first one is called process or relation. And then the second sub definition is that every input will only result in one output one output is very important okay so what is what's the meaning like process or relation so you can imagine like function is a factory okay you are putting something you are putting something into inside then you come out something like so what wow uh, the thing that you put in is called input uh, and then the thing you uh, come out after the factory uh, uh, pick it up or what uh, so see the process is what uh, come out is output uh. so example is like uh, very, very easy I just <laughs> take a glass jar then you put it into the function imagine this function uh. just imagine this then after that it got a water inside is that this function is add order this function fix add order and then you can add something like I want to add a paper inside then the paper become wet already very wet already okay okay so <laughs> so how can we explain this mathematically so mathematics uh, of, of course are uh, all about numbers so um, our factory is also going to for example the number there is like uh, I uh, you can imagine there's a factory uh, can imagine there's a factory like this okay this way is the input way and then this is the function okay this is the function and then this is the output so this is what input this is output of course uh, common sense also know right 
So this is process uh. Of course, <laughs> during you are making in, uh, you have input, you have output. Confirm <laughs> in the middle they have a process. So the process is actually function. For example, the input I put over like two. I put it into the function, and then what uh our result is. Uh, the number three. Then, uh, then we, so we continue use the same function. Then we put the number one. We we produce number two. Then we put number four. Then we produce number five. So basically, it's very easy. The process is just plus one. Is it? So it's plus one. So basically, <coughs> function. You know, it's a process. Then, but actually, we need to express it in mathematical way, right? So then, of course, uh, this chapter is about algebra. So we put algebra inside. There is algebra that can be any real number, must be real number. This, uh, this, uh, this is the rule, real number. Then you will result in x plus one. So actually, the function we say that the function of x plus one. Then we are going to express it at. A function of x is x plus one, right? Okay. So I'm going to like um draw a more professional diagram, lah. Okay. So this is called arrow diagram, an arrow diagram. So this arrow diagram is very easy, only. You just build two e eclipses. Okay. Just build two eclipses here. Then this is the first set of the theta x and y. Okay. Uh, okay, the first, I copy the number like this. Uh, okay, so this is two, this is one, and this is four. And then we copy the number here. We copy the number here, as y. There is three two five. So we're going to link the uh, x and y. So basically, this is also the process here. F you can imagine here has an F. Uh, here has an F. So as I have told you all that, function is actually process or relation. So this is process, right? Okay. Actually, process you can convert into relation because of course the input and output both of them have a relationship between them. Is is undeniable one. So what is actually uh, set X? Okay, this is set x, right? This is the group of theta of x set x. So set x is actually input. Okay, input the thing that you have input in your uh, during the process are uh, input out input output. Then you can link to this is actually the same one that this group of theta is actually the input. What is going to input input input, and then the y theta, the y theta is suddenly uh, comes out. It's the output lah. Okay, set what is the output. So actually, input and output um, are not used widely in Malaysia. But right? used widely in all over the world, but not Malaysia only. <laughs> okay, so uh, Malaysia, they use over there. Okay, all of you should know one lah, that we call it as also object. And the set one is going to be the image. Okay, we have another more professional name that is called domain and range. Okay, don't ask me why I'm not mathematician. <laughs> so actually, can can I say that uh, y is actually function of x? We go the ballet can can or not? Actually, can one lah. Okay, but the process this process is plus one, right? But that process, you convert it to negative one, uh, minus one. Actually, you just uh, see the direction. Okay, so the initial point is here, here come to here, right? Like this, this, like this, like this, like this. So like this, that you know that this point is the starting point. The starting point must be the object. Okay, right now you're putting the number in. You're putting two, come up three. Putting number one, come up two. Okay. Easy, easy right? Okay, so it's just easy like this. So another, so this is the most important one. Okay, the first one actually not in Malaysia syllabus. 
Okay. But the second one is compulsory in marriage labors because it's vitally important. <laughs> As every in input will only result in one output. What does it mean? Okay. So uh, I say that um, right now, the first situation I can say that I have one input and I count one output. Like this, lah, same to this. Same to this, as we have one output that we result in. Oh, well, sorry. That we have that we have one input, then we we result in one output. This is the first situation. Then actually, this situation, if you remember, is called one to one relation. It's included in your form two graph of function chapter. If I if I'm not mistaken, it's chapter eight graph of function. Okay, one to one relation, and then you will have. Uh, two or more inputs and you will only reside at one output this we call many to one relation many to one relation and then we have like uh, one input result in many outputs this one we say is one to many relation I'm just easy to write Okay, then uh, we have many inputs and result in many outputs. This one we say is a many to many relation. So actually, if by the definition of the second sub definition, I say every input will only result in one output. It's common sense, right? Like, at this. You put in water inside, it's like the glass, uh, the glass jar with water on it. It's not like um, the suddenly break. Can't run, ma. Can't run, ma. Like you put water, like the function is add water. You add water inside, suddenly it breaks. It's like another output. Impossible one is it. The function is just common sense. It's common sense, okay? Okay, so from the definition, we know that we are only one output, always one output only. So from these four relations, there's only two types of relations are called function, which is the one-to-one -one relation, uh, which is the one-to-one -one relation and the many-to-one -one relation. This is called a function. Okay. So maybe you ask me, what is the example of this relation? Okay, there's actually many one. The first one, it's very simple. I just write, y equal to x ah this one one to one ah that you uh, let uh when x equal to one y equal to one when x equal to when x equal to two y equal to two when x equal to three y equal to three simple like this only this is one to one easier okay now so many to one relation is something that's called quadratic function that maybe you have learned in your i don't know compulsory done already in uh from two that is the graph function is you if you remember, is a U-shaped graph like this. Ah. Okay. This is called uh, parabolic shape. Yeah, parabolic shape. Remember this? Ah. Very important. Very important. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very important in your physics. <laughs> in reflection of wave. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is quadratic. So actually, you have learned quadratic uh, all over the time in your form too. First is the expansion chapter. <laughs> you know, y equal to x squared minus 1. Like this, this is also a quadratic graph. So why it will result in, uh, why the two inputs will result in one output. So I'll give you an example. That if I put x equals to 2 and negative 2. So here for x equal to 2, lah, okay. Here for x equal to 2, that is y will equal to 2 squared minus 1 equals to 3. And then here we have x equal to negative 2, y equal to negative 2 squared minus 1, that will result, oh, that will result in 3. Okay, so you can see the output is the same. The output is the same, that is satisfied the many to one relation, that is we have two inputs and result in only one output get the same output
Okay guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel called Edu Summer.